Although bats are not blind, because they fly and hunt in the dark, they cannot rely on their eyes for finding their way. Instead, they use a technique called echolocation, a sort of sonar. They emit very high-pitched noises and listen out for the returning echoes. They use this technique to navigate as they're flying and also to hunt for their insect food. But these calls are too high-pitched for most adults to hear, so we need to use specialist equipment to make the calls audible and to be able to tell the different species apart. To do this, we use a bat detector. This is a bat detector. They use a clever system called heterodyning that brings the high-pitched calls that bats make down to a frequency that we can hear. They basically consist of a volume dial, which also doubles as the on-off switch, and a frequency dial, so you can tune it to the frequency you want to listen to. The best time to go out bat detecting is just after it gets dark on a warm summer's night. Bats are rarely out in the winter. If it's tuned to around 45 kHz, you can check it's working by rubbing your fingers in front of the bat sector, and it should make an audible noise. Of course, bats aren't the only thing out there that are making high-pitched noise, and you might pick up other things like the jangling of keys. The bat detectors can usually pick up most bats within about 10 metres, um, but it varies on the species, and some bats, like nocturnal bats, have very loud calls that you can hear from a lot further away. So this kind of sound we're listening for is this. With a bit of practice, you can actually start to distinguish the different species using the bat detectors. Enjoy your bat detecting. You can find out more about bats, echolocation and buying a bat detector on our website at bats.org.uk.